I'm working on adding a few features to my engine. The first one is fuel pressure sensor. I've had this sticking out of there for a while, but it hasn't been wired up. And the second one is removing the mechanical radiator fan. It doesn't even have a clutch, so, you know, robbing a lot of power at high revs and sticking a pusher fan on there. So eventually when I add the turbo, I'm kind of gonna need that space for pipes. So I can't really have a puller fan anyways, but really it won't fit there against the uh, water pump pulley. So there you go, pusher fan. So I've used some nice connectors, water resistant, blah, blah. I'll add sheathing to all this, but coming through some existing wiring paths and I added a relay and um, I guess these these little relay holders sockets aren't available anymore so or at least they're hard to find I don't they're not they're not sold anymore as far as I can tell so I just um, took an auto parts socket Let's see maybe you'll recognize that from any auto parts store just you know the tiny little ones and then the relay that they use has um has like a screw hole at the top so you screw the relay onto something and then the wiring connector hangs out the bottom i don't know anyways i 3d printed this this kind of overlay that goes on top of it and it has a couple slots and it just slides into there into the extra oem relay slot i think uh, i can't remember maybe it was something it was used on the TII or something I don't know anyways there's this extra relay slot there from the factory that um, on my 74 that I uh, decided to fill out and this controls the thermo fan so what I've done is I have the ground for the fan here and I have power coming in from uh, 20 amp fuse here I also added this little box, which has a five volt rail and a ground rail for sensors. And this terminates at the ECU. So um, home run there pretty much. Got all these wires that I still have to run through the interior. They have to go down through there and then I have to put the wire sheathing back on. Um, this is the fuel pressure sensor uh, value which is going to be it's it's like a, it's a pressure transducer so it's basically 0.5 volts to 4.5 volts and and the software translates that to pressure uh, then we have the relay for the thermo fan and this is grounded so if i simply tap that to ground it should turn on the fan we'll test that in a moment and last but not least i have right here is going to be the ground that actually runs from the ground rail to the ECU. Um, right now, I've got that just hooked up to here for testing to make sure everything works. So I'm just gonna flick the key on. Not gonna turn it on. Don't have uh, any coolant in it, etc. So I'm just gonna flick the key on here into the run position. Okay. Everything's on. Now I'm gonna go back over here. And so theoretically, if I simply ground this out, should turn the thermal fan on. And this is what the ECU would be doing when the temperature gets above a certain amount. There you have it. just like that it all works so I can run these wires I got to pull apart the dash it's the only reason I haven't done that yet I got to pull apart the dashboard in there run these wires through the existing loom and terminate them at the ECU which is over there in the glove box then we should be good to go